Once upon a time there lived this young fella called Peter. He lived out in the scrub in a small cottage with no conveniences. Because of the odd wolf, the house had a stone wall around it. Beyond that was grandfather's small property with a dam. Then there was one of them European black forests. Rather like one of our Forestry Commission forests, only blacker. One morning early, Peter woke and decided to take a quick constitutional in the field and slipped out, neglecting to close the gate. Peter's mate, the bird, who always rose early, was waiting on the branch of a sapling. The duck, noticing the gate was open, made a quick break for it. She planned on a quick dip in the dam before breakfast. didn't have much time for the duck, saw her coming and flew down to give her a bit of a bite. You must be pretty strange if you can't fly and sit in trees, said the bird, taunting her. The duck, who carried a bit of a chip at the best of time, jumped in the dam. What sort of a bird can't swim, she retaliated. the toss, the bird on the bank, the duck in the dam. The bird started enjoying himself, which was almost a big mistake. Because then, Peter noticed the cat. 
was sneaking through the long grass toward the bird with a change of diet on his mind. While the bird's attention is diverted, I'll just sneak up for a quick snack, thought the cat. Ever so slowly the cat crept up, with that funny look cats get. Peter shouted a warning and the bird takes off like guns in on cup day. Stay and fight like a man, shouts the duck. It was a real stirrer. And then went on dabbling round in the middle of the pond. Prowls around the foot of the tree where the bird was now safely sitting and sizes up the situation. It's a long climb for an appetizer. Just then, Grandad springs the lot of them. Get inside the lot of ye, shouts in consternation. A bit cranky. What if a wolf comes creeping out of the forest? You'll all be up the creek without a paddle. Peter just gives him a kind of lofty smirk, like kids who think they know it all do. Grandad grabs him by the scruff of the neck and wheels him inside, and just in the nick of time. that very instant viewers out he comes all black and hairy and dribbling the wolf
cat shinned up a tree and found a secure branch. The duck, who was hiding behind the door when the brains were handed out, leaped out of the pond. And went flapping and squawking across the field. She was going pretty fast for a duck, but the wolf was going faster and getting closer. Just then, The wolf caught her. She went down like the first cold tinny at a butcher's picnic. <laughs> <laughs> 